Ugh, where am I? Ah, uh, you're finally awake. It's about time a criminal like you got randed on. Oh, God, not you. Not that autistic user was married to an equally stupid bunny girl. You ain't gonna rant on me, not if I kill you first. You must die. Wait a second, why am I looping? Because I'm the one who's doing it. Well stop looping my darn movements and let me kill this asswipe. No, and another thing, I have a bomb on my chest, and I can make it explode anywhere I want. Meaning if you open your mouth to insult Matthew or try to hurt Matthew, you'll go boom. You'll be sorry. Yep, Matthew again, ranting on another child abusing YouTuber, which is on par with Paper Luigi 99 as one of the worst gonomators ever. He is in the top 3 worst gonomators ever. It's of course, Harry Strack, a guy who abused the copyright system and committed child abuse on par with Paper Luigi 99 and that's saying a lot, considering what I've seen. Now if you like this user, fine, I don't give a flying fish. I don't got all day to yell at people who like random users, I'm busy screaming at cans of soup. Fucking weirdo. Ouch, why did you do that for? What did we just tell you? Any form of insult to Matthew and your toast. I showed mercy this time, but I'm not gonna show it again. Now sit, down, shut up, and face the music. Alright, let's get this rant over with, cause I don't want to even look at this monster. Harry Strack is, without a doubt, one of the worst gonomators ever. Like, Samster6579 doesn't come close to the top 10, but this guy goes in the top 3, and here's why. First off, let's go through his minor ones first. His content is extremely violent. Now don't get me wrong, violence does not automatically equal bad. After all, Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry are nothing but violence. But you know what, it's cartoony and the characters rarely have permanent injuries. And of course, Happy Tree Friends is gory violent, but usually the characters either deserve it, it happens to them by accident, or they come out alright in the end. But not with Harry Strack, his videos are bloody and violent. And neither Kaiu nor Dora nor Little Bill actually deserve all of it. It's also on purpose, and it's permanent. Yeah, he makes Kalu, Dora, and Little Bill get grounded, as well as Punishment Day videos out of them. Like, for every one grounded video out of them, there's three Punishment Days. Now making Kaiu or Dora or Little Bill get grounded is not bad per se, it's how you do it. I've seen good Dora gets grounded videos like one Dora spots out like a YTP, but none of his videos make me laugh or have any sense of enjoyment. Yet people are watching his content. Punishment Day videos are also not bad either if you know how to do them right, like with calling anime video of Bowser in Washington. And another thing, this guy supports Pape Luigi 99 and Roku-kun. Especially Roku-kun back when he was also a violent gonimator. Though I don't know if he still likes him since Roku-kun is trying to change for the better, but still. You supported a guy who supported child abuse, pedophilia, rape, animal abuse, and disrespect for the dead, you inhumane despicable beast of burden. Not to mention, he's a complete man-child who can't handle hate. Proof, in one video, Kai ranted on Harry Strack for all the abuse he suffered on his channel. But guess what, Kai got grounded in the end. Now how the hell does that happen, I don't freaking know. Alright, I think that's all his minor crimes, let's get to his worst ones. First off, he committed false termination, abuse of power, and fraud. How, well Matthew knows about it. I do, back in 2022, when I was making Five Nights in Anime ASMRs, one of my friends was making Go Animate videos criticizing monsters, like Paper Luigi, Sean and Harry Strack. But guess what, this guy gave him three false copyright strikes and got him terminated. Proving that he cannot handle hate and thinks he's above the law, when in reality, he's rat. I know YouTube is currently trying to stop people from abusing the copyright system, but they should have started by terminating this guy for abusing it in the first place. In his behavior card day video, he had Boris get the best card and Kalu get the worst card. Now, I don't care about which character gets what card, but let's go into Boris. Boris, is a child abuser, who did some things that would be in a snuff film, to a child. I'll discuss those things later, 
but keep that in mind. You filthy swine, this is proof that you support child abuse, and probably do it yourself. You're on par with Jack Daughtry who hits kids on live streams. Another thing is that he puts grounded threats in his intros, which is stupid. No I'm not kidding, that's actually stupid. And lastly, let's talk about his crimes in his videos. First off, he made little Bill set a school on fire. What the hell man, that's literally terrorism and arson. That's not all, he also made Caillou shooting up PBS kids, which is something he would never do. Once again, that's terrorism. And he also made Doro poison an entire family, and I don't mean like a cartoony way like in Looney Tunes, I mean a reality poisoning with blood and all. But then, there's his worst video ever, that's in the top 5 worst videos on YouTube ever. And it's up there with Caillou's Ultimate Punishment Day. It's of course, Caillou's worst birthday ever. And it almost beats Caillou's Ultimate Punishment Day. Let's take a look shall we? First, he made Caillou shoot up at Chuck E. Cheese, which is once again, terrorism and genocide. You Harry are like Hitler, but even Hitler cared about Germany or something. And then, he makes a scene where Boris cuts Caillou's dick off and stomps on it. You actually think that's funny? You think child abuse, torture, castration, pedophilia, and rape are funny? You fuck shit disgrace! Give me one reason why I shouldn't rip you apart. And then, he makes Kyrie commit suicide, and everyone laughs. You son of a bitch, I freaking love it. 